What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel here in the Cayman Isles. We're getting to experience some awesome ocean views, chilling with OSG out here on our first vacay, or her first vacay since uh, the birth of our beautiful baby girl, Amy. Right now, we are about to go on a hunt. There is an overpopulation of iguanas here. They were brought here during the, the pet trade and they exploded on the island and now they're overrunning, uh, eating all the vegetation and the uh, government here wants to get rid of them. And in fact, they even pay people to exterminate them. One of the guys that is leading the way in getting these iguanas off the island, his name is Eddie. So today we're going out with my man, mother man, and my boy Outlaw, and we're going out with Eddie and his crew to clean up some of these iguanas that have been overrunning the island. So without further ado, I present to you hunting iguanas in the Cayman Islands and eating them. We're out here right now at a, uh, it's just like a horse farm. Um, we're at the other side of the island from where we're staying, and we are going to hunt these iguanas with Air Force air guns. You can go all the way up to, uh, I think it's 45 caliber uh, right now, but today we're gonna be using, I think, 25 calibers. We're gonna be using a different one that I've never used before. This is a fancy, fancy super, super accurate, you want Olympic on? style. Which model is this, Mike? This is the Comida Lynx. Comida. From Air Force. That means food in Spanish. Does it? So. Well, I it's about to make some food. Exactly. And that's how you shoot an iguana out of a tree. Okay, we got another one here. I think I'm gonna try to shoot it. He's right there. He's come back one more step. His tail. All right, follow his head up. You see his head just moved. You see him moving. Got him. Oh! oh! Get him. Well, Justin, the huh. one that got away. Yeah, <laughs> I think there'll be another. On the limb up on the top? Yeah. yeah? Now you gotta come here because there's limbs in the way, so you can actually, yeah. you can get through oh, the Oh, I see his arm, yeah. Yeah, go oh, straight there it underneath is. there. There it is. Just take your time and squeeze. Oh, he's swinging. One more. Oh. Oh, this hurts my neck. <laughs> they're tough creatures. They're not going to drop. Wow, I got hit him in the face, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. There you go. There he goes. Don't. I got one. I had to shoot him in the face. That's key. Yep. Shoot him in the belly. They just kind of sit there. You see him? Jared? Yeah. See his head? Yeah. Yeah, get him right. Oh yeah, you missed him. Missed him. <laughs> Did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, missed him. Good shot. I there didn't. Get him hurt. again. He's hurt. Oh, he's about to. He's gonna. He's gonna. Got him. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shoot his go. legs. Shoot his back legs. Yep. Oh, there, there you go. go. Got him. <laughs> Just <kidding>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I'm focused. Oh! No <laughs> low. Yeah, no, you hit him in the head. Yeah, yeah you hit stunned. him in the head, or just low He's under his throat. Stunned. He's a little stunned? Yeah. yeah. How about another? Yeah. Oh, right below him. Just put the dot a little higher, Justin. A little higher? Right on, right on yeah. the eyeball. There it is. Nope. You're kidding me. <laughs> hit him one more time. Hit him right in the He's eye. He's a good blood trail. Oh, what in the oh, world? Dude. You hit him in the same it. exact spot, dude. He's walking away. How in the heck? Get dude. Him. Heart shot. Oh, no, dude. He's still walking away, man. Uh, what in oh. the world? <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> this guy is uh, super, super lizard. Oh, man. You see, you have him camera? Yeah, I got him. I got his head right here. All right, shoot him. 
Oh, dude, Whoa, yeah. that was off. sick. I do that was so close on him. Get him, Justin, if you can. I'm on him. All right. Sound like a hit. You killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Nope. Here, that's enough for there. Got it. Okay, I think we're gonna go to another hole. We came out of that one with uh, quite a few lizards. Y'all, this is crazy. It's really similar to squirrel hunting. Uh, reminds me of walking in the uh, pecan groves, Georgia, out there with a 22. Just looking for them, but it is very hard to see them. They're up in these trees and they don't move when you see them. You really have to know what you're looking for and then uh, there, there's no movement. So uh, that last one that I got, I shot him like three times in the neck. It didn't even move. We're gonna end up doing a catch and cook with some of these. Uh, I've never had iguana. Have you ever had iguana? Kind of an interesting deal, but I've heard they don't taste bad. Kind of like chicken. Second spot out on the horse farm. We get some eat good lizards here. I think I might get one more, but I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm at my limit on lizards today. Got him. Stonk. Oh boy. Drop like a ton of bricks. Take him out by the Come on him. Good shot. Got him, dude. Got him. Head shot. That was a good shot. Yep. A little lower then. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, there he is. Oh, you're way, way low. low. Dang. That was right on him. Come on. Right. Come on. Water. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, got him! Oh, 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 oh. I think it skipped and hit him. I think it skipped and hit him too. Dang. Dang. Whew, what a shot that was. That was like a 75 yard shot on iguana. I think it actually skipped. Like hit the ground and then hit him. That's the first one we've seen on the ground. And there's tons of, they look like prairie dog holes. And apparently the iguanas, they dig in the ground. That's where they lay their eggs. So they make these these big holes in the ground. And sometimes the snakes go in there and get them. They said, they said, if you see a tail sticking out, don't grab him, he could be a big snake. I said, okay, don't have to tell me twice. Just right over the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Right over the water. We got a good shot, Justin. We all good? Got him. Good shot. Oh! Hit him again. Hit him again. Big head. Oh! Nice. nice shot. He's gonna fall right here. Wabam! Dude. We are done with the iguana hunt. Y'all, that was a lot of fun. That honestly reminded me a lot of squirrel hunting. And we got a bunch of them. So, that's a pretty good payday for these guys. They got a good little thing going. But we're gonna take a couple of them and we're gonna see how they taste. So this is the Cayman Island Iguana. It's no different than the other iguanas you see, but they're not supposed to be here. They're not native. And they are, uh, they're a nuisance here. Okay, they are cleaning up some of these iguanas and we are going to take them back to the girls. We also got some crazy fruits while we were out here. Some things I've never heard of and they also had almond trees, almond trees, which we've all have heard of, but I've never seen the actual like fleshy fruit around the almonds. It's actually kind of gross. It's really gross actually. Don't eat around the almond, the actual almond. So let's get back to the beach house and see what they think about this. That actually smells really good. Because I can't tell if it's that or if it's that. It actually that tastes pretty good. Just a little oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, fogged up the lens. Sure did. Look, what do y'all want? A leg? I want a piece of it. I don't know what I want. Man. Get give, tail, tail. Uh, give me a vertebra. 
convertible. I think the tail of it might be the best part. Some tender loin. Is there anything tender on these? Tendies in there. Thin buns. All right, man, it smells good. Yeah, let's come over it does. Is that, is that like Cayman juiced? Yep. It smells like that chicken we just ate. It's actually a lot tender than uh, it is pulling it off. Take a bite. Just eat it like a savage. Oh boy. <laughs> Justin, try a bite off of the tail. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah, tail's better. Yeah. Tail's it's a little chewy. It's a little chewy, chewy, but it's not bad flavor at all. I bet the tail would probably be that. Whoa! Huh. Whoa! Yeah, that's your consultation call or your consultation. It's not bad. I can do that again. Hey, these aren't bad. Munching on even one. Except for the, what are these worms doing on the road? Wait, dude, you, this is the chicken we just ate. <laughs> no. we, did, we did eat chicken for dinner. <laughs> it looked exactly bad. like that. What'd you have? It's a little chewy. <laughs> Oh, it is a little chewy. What you thinking? I don't think about it. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's just the fact you're eating a reptile. No, just think about how much. Which, which piece did you have? The tail? I'm good, Stephanie. Remember what they look like in the back of the back? You don't know what I had. You said back strap. I don't want it. It's a. Yeah, you got, you got the best piece. It tastes like chicken. It's a piece of a stegosaurus. But <laughs> no. it, was, it was cooked in like chicken broth and it kind of tastes like that. No. It's not bad. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed watching some iguana hunting and eating. Don't forget to check out the other guys I'm filming with down here, Mullet Man and Outlaw. Mullet Man's here for a few more days doing a little bit more fishing and uh, possibly one more hunt as well. I, I didn't even know this, but they have like dove hunting is a big thing on this island too. So. Uh, just opened my eyes to uh, hunting in tropical places. Kind of cool. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Go ahead and hit the like button for keeping the ecological system here balanced. And if you want to stay tuned, subscribe right here to the channel. Next, we got one more fishing trip out here on the island, a species that I have yet to conquer. So keep it locked right here, and I will see you on the next tropical dangle.